Okay, here's an interesting video from Trenton Alley. <clears throat> they were down in Argentina. Uh, they had, you know, they traveled, uh, the, the, you know, they went all the way down through Central America. They had their, their van shipped over from Panama into Colombia because there are no roads from Panama to Colombia. <clears throat> and then they drove all the way down to Argentina. All the way down, and then they got all the way down there, almost, you know, the southern tip of Argentina. That was last February or so, March. The whole pandemic hit, and then they left everything down there in, uh, left their van down there in Argentina with a friend or something, and anyway. So anyway, uh, they took, air, took an airplane, to a bunch of planes to get back to the States so they could hunker down during the pandemic. And when uh, then they went to Watt, they drove, I think they landed in Miami, they got a rental car, they drove to um, Allie's parents there in the Washington DC area for a while and they quarantined. And then they went to, uh, they eventually got, got another vehicle, a truck or something and drove across the country to his parent, to his mom's place in uh, near Salt Lake City in Utah. And then they've started building their house up in the mountains. That's what they've been doing very quickly. But anyway, they got their van back. Somebody, they managed to ship the van back all the way from Argentina. I guess they put it on a boat and got it all the way back here. And they're checking out the van. You know, this was their home for quite a long time as they were traveling through, uh, you know, the Americas there. And uh, yeah, they opened up the back and found out that somebody had pried open the back doors of the van and taken a lot of their stuff. So, you know, the van is back, but a lot of their stuff that was in the van kind of got rif rifled through and uh, didn't make it back to them. But, uh, you know, hey, they got the van back, and I guess that's about as good as they could have expected considering all they've been through, you know. But uh, anyway, Trent and Allie reunited with their their beloved van. So anyway, they are happy to have the van back. And, uh, you know, again, you know, all their still, you know, again, I think they took their important stuff with them when they went, you know, to get on the airplane, fly out of Buenos Aires and get back to the States. But whatever they left there, yeah, a lot of the stuff is gone But, uh, you know, hey, you know, Whatever, they can buy some new stuff, right? An update from Heat Seeker Bus Pierre. They're up in snowy, snowy, cold Ontario, Canada. He has uh, been working on fi fixing up, uh, converting his bus, you know, doing a lot of stuff to his bus. His full time, it's his RV schoolie, actually, school, old school bus or whatever. So, anyway, he's been busy doing that. So, he's been giving us a nice tour of that. He has a house up there, but he said he's renting out most of the house even though he has a place for himself in the house if he needs to be there. But he actually prefers being out in the bus, even though it's cold, even though it's snowy, even though because of the pandemic he can't come south this year. You know, last year he was, uh, you know, down at Quartzsite, and he went over to Louisiana, and he went over to Florida and stuff like that. You know, remember that? So he was uh, busy in the United States last year where it was much, much warmer. But this year, Pierre is hanging out... Uh, Back in Ontario. Ladders, 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 ladders. Join me, shall you? Send your cards and letters to Camo Dave, uh, 104 North Green Street, number 116, Unstoppable Morganton, North Carolina, 28655. Letters, 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 letters. Hi, Dave, I just wanted to give you an FYI, writes Jeff. Uh, recently, I purchased some land in a modest home in a small town, Dateland, Arizona. Uh, last week, he flew into Phoenix, drove two hours to Yuma to close on his place, and he figured he'd stop at Quartzsite to check out the town on his way back to the airport. Well, I drove into one of the BLM long-term areas, and lo and behold, ran into the entire tribe. Panda, Wandering Jimmy, uh, Destination Open Road, and Camper Van Carolyn and 15 to 20 other YouTubers were around, LOL. They were very standoffish and all sitting in chairs at a fire, bundled up freezing during the day. I also stopped, stopped to talk with their neighbors and they said the same thing. They all are not too friendly to outsiders. I could feel it when I was talking to them. How strange. You would think for, pub for public folks, they would be more friendly and accommodating to any fans, viewers, but no, not 
at all true. Wandering Jimmy and Rossi Poo were sitting together and Carolyn sat there staring at me. Scott and Terry, per Carolyn, were out showering. Nobody looked happy at all. <laughs> As I left, I talked to some folks parked nearby. They reinforced my take and even stated how they all decided not to attend Aja's Pandemonium's dance party the other night, and they were not too happy with the tribe's overall atmosphere. It was a very eye open. It was very eye opening for me, and very sad at the same time. Wow, that's according to Jeff. We got Catfish Jones doing a cover of Bizarre Love Triangle, my one of my favorite bands, New Order. Whoa, that's cool. Uh, we got Kevin. Ke Ke <laughs> Excuse me, Camber Van Kenyon again talking his talking dogs. Hey, Dad, the Camo Dave's not so bad, Dad. <laughs> Donna Van Life escaped California. I don't know. California's been on my mind a lot lately. I don't know. Anyway, she's escaped California, so check that one out. Good video from her. Lynn Adamson says the life the nomadic lifestyle is hard. First the makeup goes, then the regular hair appointments, then the excuse regime, and then you start eating fast food because you get sick of cooking in a small space. Eventually you end up wearing your husband's shirts because it gets too much trouble to do the laundry and th by then you aren't brushing your teeth or your hair and then that and and at least that is my experience in my one month trips i need to go home just to get back on track we got an update on van life sheldon's travels uh jeff tells us that uh, they were seen with the tribe in quartzite last week at the blm roadrunner long-term stay T staying to them staying to themselves from what i can see Janice Hart says, I believe Camper Van Kevin's home is intended to be a summer place only. They get lots of snow up there, and it would not work well for his Class A motorhome to make the hills. Why do you insist on calling him Kenny? Would you like it if he called you Camo Doug? I don't care. In fact, that's what my parents almost named me, Janice. I was almost called Doug. My grandfather vetoed it. I don't know. Finally, Danny B. 1954 says a nomad in need is a nomad indeed. Hey, I got an emergency. My beer is warm. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Letters, 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 and a bit more on the 21st of December 2020. Thanks for watching. Vlog Under.